What's up everyone, it's Dan the Bugman here. If there's one pest that gets people the most worked up out of all of the pests, I would say that it is the brown recluse spider. You wouldn't believe the hysterical mania that some people enter into when they find these elusive spiders inside their home. I've got some news to break to you. A lot of stuff that you have been told or heard about these brown recluse spiders is totally, totally false. There are three main claims that I want to discuss today. The first one is that these spiders are not that common and only a few states across the country have them. We're going to answer that question today. The second claim is that these spiders are extremely, extremely aggressive. We're going to answer that question today. And the third claim is that these spiders are extremely difficult to get rid of. We're going to answer that question today. I'm here to tell you that there is a lot of truth in these claims, but there is also a lot of falsities in these claims. So let's dive into the brown recluse spider, AKA fiddleback spiders. If you've heard fiddleback spiders or brown recluse spiders, they're the same thing. Very quickly guys, they're called fiddleback spiders because of this fiddle shape on their middle thorax that looks exactly like a fiddle, but a proper term for these spiders is the brown recluse spider. Before we get started guys, two quick housekeeping things. If you would please destroy the like button, it would help me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. Secondly guys, today's video is sponsored by CSI Pest. CSI Pest is a chemical company that makes products that I use for my pest control company. These are the products that I rely on to get rid of brown recluse spider infestations, but we're going to talk more about that later. The first claim is that these spiders are not that common and they only live in a few states. And truly guys, this is what I believed to be true. And this is also apparently what major institutions think too. I found all of these articles consistently saying that these brown recluse spiders live in this central region of the United States. The Wikipedia article claims this. The University of Kentucky article claims this. The Penn State University article claims that these brown recluse spiders only live in this small area of the country. But guys, I'm here to tell you, a lot of people disagree with this. For example, people claim that they have found brown recluse spiders in Pennsylvania and Colorado. They have claimed that they have found brown recluse spiders in Texas, Connecticut, and Arkansas. They have claimed that they have found brown recluse spiders in Wisconsin, Michigan, Mississippi, and even Canada, guys. And I'm not done yet. People have claimed that they have found these brown recluse spiders in Florida, New York, Nevada, Wyoming, and North Carolina. I honestly can't believe it. I think that there is a lot of research that needs to be done about these spiders because I just don't think that all of these people are falsely claiming that these spiders are in their state when all of these public research institutions are claiming that the spiders are only in a small area. I would love to do some research. I would love to hear from you guys. So please, in the comments, let me know where you have found these spiders and we can finally get down to the truth about where these brown recluse spiders live. The second claim that I wanted to discuss is the claim that these spiders are extremely aggressive. Right off the bat, guys, I can tell you with 100% certainty that these spiders, they are not aggressive. I'm going to go ahead and pop up on the screen behind me a video of me doing a brown recluse spider service. So just take a look at what kind of treatments I'm doing. I'm going to put the green screen behind me and it should be very helpful and entertaining to see me do this kind of service in the background. Hopefully this works. All right, green screen behind me. While these spiders are not aggressive, they can 100% infest homes very, very severely. And if you happen to get bit by a brown recluse spider, they can cause severe reactions in some cases. Now, this is only a certain number of cases. It's not 100% of people. Only a certain number of people have bad reactions to these brown recluse spiders, but some people do. And when they have bad reactions, they're often narcotic in nature and leave extremely unsightly scars. In actuality, guys, these spiders are the complete opposite of aggressive. These spiders are reclusive. These spiders hide away in the corners of our closets, attics, areas where humans don't interrupt them. They like to have peace and quiet in their own little corner. These spiders are what we call in the pest control industry, passive hunters. That means they build their little messy webs in the corners of buildings and they let the bugs come to them. Because of how chilled and relaxed and reclusive these spiders are, 
That means they don't move much, so they don't use very much energy. Because these spiders are so efficient in how much energy they use on a normal daily basis, believe it or not, these brown recluse spiders can go up to one full year without eating a single bite of food. And that is what we call in the pest control industry a big problem, especially when these spiders live inside of your home. And finally, because of their reclusive nature, these spiders don't really care if there's another brown recluse spider just a few feet away from them. They are not aggressive towards other spiders and they will often not leave a single square foot area for many, many months in a row. So that is another reason that their unique nature allows these spider populations to completely explode without there being any problems within the brown recluse spider population. So coupled with their venomous bites, and ability to completely infest structures. A lot of people think that these spiders are aggressive, but they are not aggressive at all. But just because they're not aggressive doesn't mean that they're not a problem. Which leads me to my next point, guys. If these spiders are such a big problem, then we need to get rid of them. And a lot of people have told me that they have heard that brown recluse spiders are extremely difficult to get rid of. And I'm here to tell you that this is not the case with some proper treatments customer communication, and diligent effort, these brown recluse spiders can be eliminated in just a few months of regular pest control treatments. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it's very, very doable. In brown recluse spider infestations that I have personally seen, there are often four characteristics of the structure that come together to create the perfect habitat for brown recluse spiders. The first one is that this structure usually has a ton of hiding spots for these spiders. Things like boxes, closets, attics, just messy areas where these spiders have areas to hide gives these spiders the cue to say, hey, this is a great place to set up shop. Secondly, these homes often do not have a normal pest control service and are filled with other kinds of bugs that give these spiders a constant food source. Thirdly, these structures are often hot and dry. These brown recluse spiders, they don't like being cold. They don't like being wet. They like hot and dry areas. In my experience, I've seen brown recluse spiders most often on the second floors of buildings, in attics, in areas where they can be warm and where they can be dry. And finally, the fourth characteristic of homes that I often find these brown recluse spiders infesting is that these homes are undisturbed in a lot of cases. So whether that be an upstairs that doesn't get used much or a second home that doesn't get used much, time and time again, I find that these areas that don't get a lot of activity are the areas that these brown recluse spiders love to infest. When all four of those circumstances come together, that leads to the perfect brown recluse spider storm. These spiders, while they are very unique, they are extremely exterminatable with just some consistent normal pest control services. Here is how I would recommend to get rid of a brown recluse spider infestation. First of all, just know that you're going to need multiple treatments over a three to four month period. Whenever we do these pest control treatments, the main pest control chemical that I rely on is a CSI pest product called Seismic. This is the best controlled release pesticide on the market. The Seismic SC, it's really the meat and potatoes of my brown recluse spider infestation treatments. I have seen extremely great results using this product. The long lasting effects of this seismic are invaluable in doing a brown recluse spider treatment. The second thing I rely on when I do a brown recluse spider treatment is I use a butt ton of glue boards, guys. These are the cardboard sticky things you fold into boxes or triangles and put in the corners of the room. When I do a service like this, sometimes I'll put two or three glue boards in every single room. This allows me to do two things. One, it catches these spiders. Whenever they crawl around, they are going to get stuck on these glue boards. But secondly, and most importantly, it allows me to know which areas of the house have a big brown recluse spider infestation and which areas I might not need to worry about so much. Finally, guys, a major thing that needs to be done in order to eliminate these brown recluse spiders is to tell the customer to declutter their home. They need to get rid of all these boxes in the attic, all these clothes in the closet laying on the ground, any kind of random storage stuff. These are going to inhibit the areas that I can treat 
and it's going to give these spiders extra hiding spots. So it's very, very important for brown recluse spider treatment to declutter your home. So no guys, these spiders are not impossible to get rid of. These spiders do require some specific knowledge and treatments to get rid of, but they are definitely not impossible to get rid of. So overall guys, is it worth being mad and crazy about these brown recluse spiders? Well, crazy maybe isn't the right word, but I think the answer is yes. You need to be aware that these brown recluse spiders are a thing, they can infest your home, and you need to take preventative steps to make sure you don't have a brown recluse spider infestation. But in my opinion, it shouldn't really be your job to research brown recluse spiders to apply pesticides inside your home. In my biased opinion, I think it would be best to hire a pest control company to maintain a normal preventative pest control service around the exterior perimeter of your home. You need to be aware that these brown recluse spiders can infest structures they do have a venomous bite that can be narcotic and cause extreme scarring. Today's video is not meant to scare you, it's just meant to inform you that these spiders exist, and hopefully the information that I gave you today can help you make a more informed decision about the steps that you need to or don't need to take in order to prevent these spiders from getting inside your home. So guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and finally, just remember, if you have seen these spiders inside your home and you live in a state that's not in the normal area inside of this map that was on the screen earlier just let me know in the comments and maybe we can finally get a grip on what these spiders are up to so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time